Hey guys, this is an introductory video to the 1987 Ford F-250 XLT Lariat, 6.9 liter, 420 cubic inches. Uh, I haven't seen many videos on this. Matter of fact, I haven't seen very much of anything. Uh, so I thought I would try to document what I've done, what I've learned, make it a little easier on the next guy. So uh, I'll keep it short, sweet, to the point. No backstory uh, explaining where we got the truck from or who the guy was that sold it or how his uncle found it in the war. None of that stuff. So <coughs> I'm just going to briefly cover one of the things that drove me crazy. Is, uh, so this is the fuel injector pump for the diesel. And it's also known as the funnel of failure. And this is referred to as the triangle by most of the car guys that are more in, in depth with uh, what's going on. So I have a knocking issue that I'm not going to get into at the point. Um, it, I've already checked out all the other stuff and then we'll just leave it at that. So if you're trying to adjust this guy, you can do it while, um, while it's still mounted in the engine. But I broke this little fellow off. So I had to pull the whole thing out in order to uh, extract that safely. Came out clean, didn't it? Anyhow, so down inside this triangle, uh, I believe those are quarter inch uh, heads, by the way, is there is a little 5 30 seconds Allen head right there. You back it out counterclockwise for less pressure and um, draw it in clockwise for uh, higher pressure. I've already backed it out and later on once I get it figured out we'll talk about the timing marks that I believe these are. You can see the, the gouge there and this little dude but I wasn't paying attention. I know. Um, I wasn't paying attention when I pulled it out and so the timing's probably all jacked up. So I'll cover that in a later video. Like I said I'm going to try to keep these short, sweet and to the point. Is the background noise is the background noise as long as you can hear my voice you're good to go um, with that being said is uh, I plan to do a bigger teardown of this guy and explain some of the things I've already run into and some of the problems I have and you can see an overview this engine has been manhandled so I look to unmanhandle it and hopefully we'll uh, We'll have a nice pretty engine compartment when it's all said and done. Uh, thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time.